We are very familiar with a foldable phone, a phone that opens up and gives us access to a larger display. Uh, we've seen different configurations of this. There's the Duo that has technically two displays. And then of course we have the Fold. It's a display that folds in half. Well, today I'm taking a look at something unique and new from Uperfect. If you're familiar with the name, you know about their external displays. I'm actually using one right now, sitting to my left. It's their 17 inch 4K model. But today's star is a little bit different. It's a foldable display that goes all the way, even all the way back here, and gives us the ability of actually using two displays, folding displays. And the reason why I'm saying folding, this is because I can actually connect both of these displays with one USB-C cable to my Mac or my PC and get full functionality of all three displays. And of course, that external 15.6 inch multiplied by two at 60 Hertz. This is TK and this is my review of the Uperfect Delta. Let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. I'm going to start off by talking about the fact that this is technically two displays. I do enjoy their solution when it comes down to their external displays. And those are typically a single panel, either 15, 17, or even 18. And depending on the resolution configuration, but the point of it is it's an additional screen to augment the experience that you have on your PC. So the PC typically has one display a 15.6 or a 16. But the biggest thing about it is obviously it's a cramped style experience because it's smaller than what we typically get with the bigger displays at home. But when you add an additional display in which Uperfect provides a quite a big and different models that you're able to pick from, it extends that experience and you're getting a better experience at that point. You can do more. Multitasking is to the next level. And I think the Delta is taking that to the next level even more by giving us double the amount of displays. And this is not just having two of them, this is connected two of them. And the biggest difference between the, uh, this and what you've seen before is the fact that they're actually connected to each other, meaning I can actually run both of these displays connected with one USB-C cable to my PC or to my Mac. And I think that's a big difference in what we get from different places. You're not getting two separate 15.6 inches, although you can run them that way. This is a single cable type of a solution but I'm also going to show you guys how we're also able to run multiple things on this. Meaning I can run, uh, let's say my Steam Deck on one display and I can run my Z Fold 4 on the other running Dex. And that's because we do have inputs for USB-C and HDMI for both displays or one cable to both displays, depending on the configuration you want. And when it comes down to cables, they include everything you need down to the charger, which is a 20 watt charger that enables us to actually charge through the display. So it connects to the display and the display connects to your PC or your Steam Deck and you're able to pass through the power to it. It's not gonna be a full powered experience. Obviously it's not running at 45 watts. So it, for the Steam Deck, it's gonna be more of a trickle charge than anything, but at least it runs. So the first configuration we're gonna talk about is obviously using this with my Mac. My Mac have been using again, the 17 inch 4K version of this, but this runs really nice. When it comes down to configuration, there's technically three different configurations. There's the 15.6 inch. Those are the 1080p 60 frames per second or 60 Hertz on both panels. And they do have independent, um, I would say panels uh, on display configuration. So you're able to configure them or set the brightness between each perfectly fine independently from each other, but you can still run them both with one USB-C cable. The next one is an 18.5 inch 1080p, but it obviously it's a bigger display, still same configuration, 60 frames per second, but you're getting much bigger landscape to work with. There is no touch interface. This is all, this is going to be just basically displays. The last one obviously is gonna be that 2K edition version of it that allows you to actually have 2K at 144 Hertz. And that's gonna be really good for gamers. And of course, the ability of getting that big display because that runs at 18 inches. So depending on whichever one you go with, you're pretty much getting a very similar experience. It's the ability of adding two additional displays to whatever system that you're using or in a display for each one person using uh, conversely back to back because this runs actually all the way up to 360 configuration. So if you put it more of in a tent mode, one person on one side of the cable on one side of the table can be running their experience and another person on the other side of the table can be running their own because of the independent inputs. They provide you the cables for the two HDMIs, three USB-C to C cables that also provide us the ability of charging as well as connecting it to other devices. And the last thing I love about that is they give us a U-shaped USB-C connector to run the wire to the right side. So in case you wanna have the display sitting on the left, that one wire going to your Mac is absolutely gonna be fantastic. Let's go ahead and jump real quick with that and talking about how does this work with my Mac. Now I'm running the MacBook Pro 16 inch. This is the M1 version. And of course it runs absolutely fantastic. 
The only thing I would probably say is you do need to turn on or install the mirror display or the mirror linked app on your, on your computer and it'll recognize the displays and it does recognize them as two independent panels but connected at the same time. So the PC will be able to handle both of them together and what I did in my configurations under settings is align them to be the way I'm looking at them. Two displays sitting on the left, one above each other and of course my main uh, display on the laptop sitting on the right side and it was really nice to be able to configure that. I wasn't able to extend or at least stretch uh, displays from one to the other and unfortunately that's I feel like a limitation of the mirror link application that we have there but at the end of the day using them as triple con uh, the configuration I was able to run uh, my timeline on the bottom display and of course my uh, preview panel on the top and I was able to run my edit much nicer having it in that configuration typical to the way I see it here at home. Absolutely a fantastic experience and surprisingly if you converse this or flip this over to the PC side with Windows. Now I chose not to run it on a PC like a full desktop experience. I actually have one of those mini PCs that we've seen before on the channel and I really really loved the way this did it really nicely because from a minimalistic type of an experience I ran my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse of over Bluetooth obviously connected to the dongles on the back of the mini PC and with a one cable connection straight into the actual display I was able to run both displays and in Windows because Windows recognizes them natively, it allows me to actually stretch Windows directly from the first window to the second. So you can run one large display or one large view with a little bit of a line in the middle, or you can run them independently and that actually works really nicely. So the experience on this mirror is exactly what we see on the Mac side. The computer is recognized right away. No additional applications installed. Windows natively supports this. And overall, the experience was super minimalistic and super functional. Both displays are very nice. The colors are very vibrant. You can tune them exactly to the way you want them. And of course, set the brightness level independently between the two panels or even match them if you'd like by configuring them on the uh, configuration uh, jog dials on the right side. Uh, again, all connections are going to be on the left and all configurations will be on the right. Okay, so we talked about the PC, we talked about the Mac, and we talked about how well they work with a single cable. But there are some configurations that will require us to have multiple inputs and I think this is where it becomes very functional. So on the top display here, I decided to run my Z Fold 5 and I was running DeX running on that display. So my Z Fold 5 can run its own app and I can run two separate apps directly within the actual DeX interface to be able to do that really good multitasking with that top display. The bottom display, I decided to actually run my Steam Deck and I was playing Far Cry in there and it works really, really nice. The display on the Steam Deck turns off. It basically becomes what the display is on the actual bottom panel because I connected it there. And of course, it runs really good, very simple and everything that you would expect from it. There is speakers built into this, although not the strongest speakers. I'll probably say that if you're watching content or basically trying to run something that requires better sound, use the built-in speakers directly in, uh, let's say, your MacBook Pro. If you're running a smaller mini PC where you don't have a speaker, obviously these are going to be doing well. When I was playing the game with Far Cry, I did have to bump up the volume all the way to 100% to get a decent experience, although I still felt like the speakers built into the Steam Deck ran better. So. Again, your choice is obviously going to depend on what you're trying to do, but it does have built-in speakers in case you need to run that audio there. Uh, as far as HDMI, pretty straightforward. Connect the HDMI, uh, The I think it's like a mini HDMI, but the cables that they provide us run straight to the left side. And of course, that plugs into a full-size male HDMI cable to, let's say, your camera, your laptop, whatever output that you want to use that uses HDMI that runs video and audio from there. And it works pretty much the same. The ability of running both displays will only work over USB-C on the bottom connector. If you want to run them with multiple separate feeds, HDMI or USB-C, you're going to be able to do whatever you want. The cables do go more though. You do have multiple input cables if you're running HDMI or even if you want to run them independently from each other. But if you want to get that really nice clean solution, the one cable solution to PC or Mac, this does support it and it supports it so nicely. And it's about the thickness of my MacBook Pro and it is definitely lighter than my MacBook Pro. And of course flips over to 360 if you want to be using that in that configuration. I will say that I do wish that there was some touch interface uh, functionality built into this, but unfortunately this version does not have. My hope is that the future versions will have it. And of course uh, it is absolutely fantastic. I never thought that I would be able to enjoy something like this with a kickstand that not only articulates to more of a taller experience, but also ergonomically lower experience. If if you want to use this more uh, and you want to basically not have it so tall it is configurable and very easy and of course everything just configured runs really nice there's some offsets on the bottom to make sure that it doesn't move even on the bottom part of the display so that you're getting that really nice 
uh, comfortable experience to the eye level that wherever you're sitting. So for the longest time, we've had a single display solution that we've seen many iterations from. And now we finally have the ability of running two displays, either simultaneously over one USB-C cable or independently via USB-C or HDMI input, and they work so nicely. Uh, Uperfect made a really good design here. The Delta is absolutely fantastic. And if you've ever wanted to take your multitasking to the next level with your laptop, this is the solution to go for because again, it's the side of your laptop. It is actually lighter than your laptop, but it adds so much more than what a standard laptop has with a built-in display or a single display that we get there. Like and subscribe as usual. Make sure to hit those comments below. And of course, let me know what you guys think of the Uperfect Delta in whatever configuration you may think of. Again, there's the 15.6, the 18, and an 18.5, all the way up to 144 hertz with 2K resolution on those displays. I'll see you in the next video.